How Anne-Marie put up with the bloke with his hand up Agro's bum is beyond me. Thank you, so I can write back. And they've done these. Now, these are like little stencil things. You might have done this with a, with a coin and a 20 cent piece. You know how you, you rub it and it oh, comes... Oh, definitely did that it? as a kid. Oh, it looks, like, it looks like a stencil of an Anne-Marie doll. Oh, stop it, all right? So there you go. Now the letter. But that one's been distorted. That one's got hips. Oh, Agro, look. <laughs> Never insult a woman's body shape, okay? That is a guaranteed one to get a slap around the back of the head. Excuse me. Excuse Someone me. talking? Excuse me. Oh! Yeah, hello. That. Enough. <laughs> okay. All right. Otherwise, you know what happens when you get naughty, don't you? Yes, the ratings go up. <laughs> <laughs> What happens when you misbehave? The ratings go through the roof. What else happens when you misbehave? The, the show gets the flick and Disney takes over. No, what else happens when you're naughty? I don't know what. You get a smack! <laughs> oh, well, there's no need to be so mad about things. <laughs> uh, come down here, I'll do it, come here. Ready? Yeah. What's that? Uh, I don't know. You getting a refill. Ah, 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 don't be hurtful, don't be hurtful, don't be hurtful, ah, 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 <laughs> I love how well she takes the 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 insults. I, it's, it, look, it's probably only friendly banter, um, but she does take it very well, and she's fairly good at reacting to it and how, what to say after it as well in a funny manner. No, I'm just don't panic. It's all right. Now listen, this is our Smith's oh. Akai competition competition and this is what you do you put the little dooby whackers in your ears like so ow, ow, ow. And, and, sorry i can't hear you ow, what are you ow. saying you ow, want you want ow, some more chips you want some chips ow, i can't ow. give you any chips sorry and then you you're put so your things in there scary. and you go like ow, this and ow. like da, 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 da. you can't hear me <laughs> i can hear you perfectly <laughs> uh-oh weeks yeah well yeah well, that's nearly christmas time can you believe it? Oh, we... I wonder what I'm getting at Christmas. What would you like? You'll have to write a big letter to Santa. A new show? A new show. Okay, what else? Um... What else would you like? How about we get you some new hands? Yeah, could I have some new hands for Christmas? New hands for Christmas? Yeah. Um, what would and if I... I get some new hands, you can get a new body. <laughs> oh, I love it. We used to do, um, at school, the gymnastics, the ribbons. Yeah. But I used to get all tangled but up. You used to wear little tilly togs and do that. Yep. That would have been a sight. <laughs> <laughs> Good pink ones. And the winner is a piece of spaghetti with pink leotards on. <laughs> oh, I am going to have a good day. He's so no, mean. We might show you something very exciting that Agro's got new coming out, okay? Oh, I don't think so. Why not? Oh, well, you know what it's like. I'm going to go and have some of it now. You can eat it. There's a hint for you. All right? Do you want some? No, thanks. Oh, don't you like it? It'll make you regular. Agro, that is enough. Quiet! Okay. Ah. Ah. Sheep. What is going on? Would you cut it out? <laughs> okay, you can't. Oh. We were going to make some Anne Marie dolls. Me? Pipe cleaners. Oh, now look. Oh, so, they're talking and, and about doing it. You had a haircut. Uh, no. You um, have had a haircut <laughs> and you didn't ask me. Remember, you I got in trouble need last to time? I ask you. I don't need to ask you. My mother goes, she reckons it looks like a preschooler's haircut. Does now. Oh, stop it. You're a moron. You are. You're, You're the one talking to a piece of carpet <laughs> and you're calling me a moron? I've got well, this for you. Well, you have got a skin problem this week, have you? <laughs> I've got... Oh. Didn't write his, 
No. Come here, turn you around. You went to Movie World. You, you, Shut, you got, look, you got Wally Lewis. Turn photo, around. Here, I'll give you a cuddle. Nah, Come I might on. be short sighted. I'm not desperate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like, <clears throat> considering this is a kids' show, some of the things, honestly, are quite offensive, but also quite sexualized as well. And uh, if I'm standing in her shoes there, what is she thinking? Is she in the mind... No. Obviously, I know it's a puppet. We know there's a man there. What I'm saying is, is she in the mind that it's the bloke downstairs that is is actually being quite insulting or is she got in her head that it's just the puppet you know it's just playing along i hope that makes sense but some real mean things oh no we don't come on it's not that hard oh look they're all doing this what does that mean it means that your 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 act isn't very good are you tired today, are you? A little bit. Are you? Oh, you get that on Mondays, though, don't you? Everyone gets a bit tired. I had a lovely weekend. Uh, dear Agro, I think you Did are you very... Did you clear bush? Damn, I checked it in. Um, my mum says that you're too cheeky, but I like it when you pick on Anne-Marie, and I think you are a cool dude. Mum says Anne-Marie deserves a medal or a pay rise. Did you hear that? Les, Les! <laughs> Did you hear that? OK, you're up to 50 bucks a week. To put up... With you must go to the same hairdresser as Anne Marie because you both, both got black roots. Oh, oh, no. Hey, listen, Jago, don't. Oh, you're really starting to frown me off now, boy. <laughs> so maybe we can pin this up. Yeah, let's pin it up somewhere. All right, well, we'll put it up over there on our big map of Australia. Perhaps but... you could pin it up at your place. That's a big... Oh. In the kitchen. I've already got a dartboard. Well, what about... Oh, I bet I know whose photo's on it, too. <laughs> yeah. No, you go you further? Guess. No, thank you. Do you? No, I, I know. I know. Excuse me. Oh, no. Ow, don't stand on the man. I bet I know. <laughs> don't stand on the man. I bet I know. Huge photos on it. No, I'm not like that, but I'm a champion at darts. I'm a mean darts. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> I am. Yeah. Very Get champion. chucking them, don't you? Yeah. Very angry. Oh, no, you keep chucking them, don't you? Very accurate, I am. Yeah, yeah. I go, stop it. That's enough. All right? I won't hit you with no, that. No, don't, because everyone writes in. Yes. All right. I won't, I won't give you a stand. But, yeah, no, I, I'll put that up. Where would you like me to put that up? Next to your dartboard with a photo of... Who? I don't have photos on my dartboard. I know somebody who Who were you yelling at in the dressing room um, about two weeks ago? Oh, some insignificant person. I oh, excuse, excuse me. Bye now. <laughs> it's, it's very nice. Actually, I was speaking to somebody from Darwin just the other day. Our friend's up there. Oh, just, your what... friend Vera? Yes. Who you went out night clubbing with? Agro. And, um... It's weird. It is a bit weird, if I'm honest, the fact that um, a lot of sort of personal stuff is brought up on a show that is aired to kids. And, and I, it's, it's a little bit strange because and I get it that a lot of the stuff goes over the kids heads and the adults sort of get it. But it just seems strange. And you certainly wouldn't get it in kids shows now where the two presenters having banter with each other and they're talking about their personal lives and what they did at the weekend. I, you just wouldn't get it. Because I had to get a babysitter in. You did too. And it cost you heaps because um, she left at 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> Remember? Okay, it's time to have a look at Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Listen, Agro, we might get things started off this morning. And Laurie, hit the music. Okay, Laurie's on again today. Louder, please, we can't hear it on the floor. Heaps louder, heaps louder. Sing, Agro, sing the song. You sing, go. I don't know. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse you me. sing, you sing. No, get, excuse me. You sing. Agro, you know what I'm going to have to do? You sing. I'm going to have to do Oh, this. no, not the smelly mouth. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to have to do Oh, no, no, not stereo smell. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> All right? Snappy Tom. <laughs> 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 the bloke under the table's having a fiddle. Birkdale, Grovedale, any sort of Dale High. Oh, I told you. No, I don't know. 
Oh, you know who's you know who's up there playing that music? Who? Laurie. You know his mother named him after a truck? Yeah. Laurie. You hear that? There was a joke about a lorry and how it is named after a truck called which is a lorry. Yeah. True. Yeah. Oh, what, Mac? Hey? What? Mm, he just, and he what on. happened to Rick Dees? Who's he? Who's he? He's, um, Un's brother. Rick Dees. What are you talking about? <laughs> Please, just go to whatever we're going to. I think I'd rather work with a kickboard from a local pool. Little paints and that. So what colour are we going to paint him? Oh, I think green, maybe. Um, there's no green. Oh, look, I can't... Blue and yellow. Blue and yellow? Yeah, that'll get you there. Good. <laughs> you can't I even can't open, open them. them. Yeah, I... well, it's childproof. Eh? Stop it now. Hold still, OK? No. All right, so that's all you have to do. It's so easy. Don't, get, don't go over the lines. I do question, though, how this was good TV. Like, everyone's got fond memories, but sometimes I think nostalgia is better than the actual thing. It doesn't seem like they did a lot. No, I won't. Just paint again. Do you do that? Don't go over the lines. Don't go no, over the lines. No, Agro, don't bump me. I... Don't go over the lines. Don't Agro, go the lines. don't bump me. Now I have to do his other one. <laughs> oh, Agro. Oh, you went outside the lines. I... Look what you did, because I had it all done and now you've just... Anne-Marie, I have friends in grade one that paint better than this. <laughs> <laughs> it's an imaginary game, sort of. It is. You've got to, it's, a lot, it's a mind game, OK? A mind game. It is so a mind Anne game. Anne-Marie played it the other day. It took about a minute and a half. <laughs> sure, she was out of mind by then. If, you, Agra, if you'd like to win it, all you have to do is... It's one name. of the shortest games you've ever seen. <laughs> what do I do now? Is he lich? He is literally slating the game that they are about to give away as a prize. Got peace aggro. As Brunswick, I've seen trams with that on the front. I know, yeah. Oh, look, I got lost on a tram one day. Yeah, that wouldn't be hard. No, it was. In well, Sydney, it's, too. No, it was in Melbourne. I got on the tram. <laughs> I know that. Uh, no wonder you got lost on a tram with a train, you fool. Stop <laughs> it. Now, um, right, well, what happened was, aggro, it's just that. I got on the tram. Yeah, you got okay. on the tram, and you, and then, you pull the little thing and goes ding. Yeah, well, I wanted to go to the city, the and I was in I was in Paran. Where? I, in Paran. Paran. And I wanted. Where to were go, you going to? The city. Yeah, that's it. And easy. I ended up that's just, straight along the southeast freeway. You got well, I ended up not far from the Pentridge Jail. Okay, so. I got totally lost, and then I got to this suburb, and nobody, I couldn't. What was under, the name of the suburb? Oh, Coburg. North Shore. Yeah, no. I gave a shot. Why well, about six or seven hundred k? I have no okay. idea what's going okay, on now. Stop it! There's Linda and myself. Where? Quickly have a look there. Wow! How that, stay there. <laughs> stay there. Oh, you're mean. <laughs> and there you are. You right? Now just settle down. Take it. Okay. Just do your breathing exercises. Settle down. All right. Breathing. Come on. <laughs> just settle down. Yep. She's past the point. All right. Now <laughs> call the white truck. Bring me another dizzy blonde. Stop. <laughs> He does, like, oh man, hang on, let's just finish this quickly. All right. now, if you would like to win, I wouldn't say that, but... Honestly, I just... The character of Agro, and it probably does resonate with the bloke with his hand up his bum, is very, very sexist, You, you like, and that probably was the way that the world was back then. Um... Oh, like, imagine if you called someone a dizzy blonde on TV, especially on TV, if not in real, you know, in normal time, in, in real life. Not that TV isn't real life all the time, but you know, okay, we're getting off on a tangent. Um, but imagine if you called someone a dizzy blonde. You would get a slap. You would get a slap. Ah, oh, man, it's, it's absolutely mental. And it does puzzle me what, you know, people watched... Uh, because I don't understand what really happens in Agro. Is it just a character, th these two that may do a few bits, but mainly just introduce programs coming on? Anyway, let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.